Hello guys, this week I've got many requests from people saying that they want to see a detailed video about the new visa that has been announced by UK, which has been named as High Potential Individual Visa. So in this video we'll talk about all the details that you want to know, we'll talk about when is it going to get started, how is it different from the graduate visa and many other details around it as well. We'll talk about the eligibility criteria. Great thing about it is that there's no job offer required. So you can get the visa and then start looking for jobs. But of course, there got to be some catch, right? So we'll try to analyze that. Then we'll also talk about the fee and also the visa extension. All of that in this video coming up. Hello everyone, I'm Shitanshu from Dream Abroad and I regularly upload videos to help you immigrate and settle abroad. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please consider subscribing. Okay, so let's get started with the details and the overview of this visa. So UK has recently announced this work visa which would attract young talents from across the world. And why I say that? Because recent graduates who have passed out from qualifying universities in the past five years would be able to apply for this visa. Now, which are those qualifying universities we'll talk about in the next section when we'll talk about the eligibility criteria. But before that, let's talk about the validity of the visa. So anyone holding the bachelor's or master's degree would get a two years and anyone holding a PhD or doctorate degree would get three years visa. When is it going to get started? It would be May 30th, so just a couple of weeks from now. Now, how is it different from the graduate visa? Basically, graduate visa is for pass outs from UK colleges but this visa would attract talent from across the world except UK. So if you have passed out from any educational institution of UK, then you won't be eligible for it. And of course, we'll discuss the eligibility criteria in detail in the next section. Then if you have a family, which means a spouse or children, then they would be also able to get the visa. Now, as I told you in the beginning of the video, the USP of this particular visa is that job offer is not required but of course there's got to be some catch so let's talk about the eligibility criteria and try to analyze how easy or difficult is it to get this visa okay so starting with the age so people of any nationality can actually apply for this visa but they must be above 18 years of age then about the educational qualifications those who have completed a degree from a qualifying university outside the uk within the past five years would be eligible now when we say qualifying universities of course that is a catch here so in their website they have a list of top 50 colleges every year in the past five years and those colleges would be eligible which are those colleges we'll see that list in a bit okay now about the job offer as i told you there's no job offer required you can get the visa and then search for jobs now the english proficiency test if your degree was taught in english which i believe most of the people would have then you'll need a certificate from the awarding body or a university transcript. But just in case, if your degree wasn't taught in English, then you'll need to pass at least the B1. Okay, now talking about the financial requirements. So you should have at least £1,270 in your bank account for a continuous 20-day period, 31 days prior to making the application. That's not a big amount, so that is pretty easy. Of course, the biggest catch here is about those qualifying universities. So let's check out that list first. Okay, so this is the official web page of Government of UK. I'll provide the link in the description box below. And here in this page, you'll find different universities that are listed out from 2016 to 2021. You'll find the list of qualifying universities in these five links. So if I click on one of these, you'll see we have some big names here. Harvard is there, McGill University, MIT is there, New York University is there. So obviously, it's very obvious they want to pick the creamy layer. You can have a look at this list. If you have studied from one of these uh, universities, then you might be eligible for this particular visa. But of course, not just one list. You should check all these lists. For example, if I go to list from 2018, it would have some different universities listed. I think 80 to 90 percent universities would still be the same, but still every list would be different from the other. If you have passed out from any of these universities, then you stand a chance to get this UK visa. Now about the fee and the visa extension. So the fee is £715. So in total, you should have at least £2,000 to be eligible for this visa, including the fee 
and the financial requirement. Now about the visa extension. So you cannot directly apply for permanent residency. Instead, before your visa expires, you can switch to some other visa. It might be skilled worker or some other visa. Okay, so this is all the information that I wanted to share through this video. Thanks a lot for watching the video. If you have any questions, any comments, any feedback, please put it down in the comment section below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do not forget to subscribe it before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.